What's up guys, so today we are back in the kitchen and we're not making food, but we're going to be talking about calories. Now we're talking about estimating calories and how you can do that in a way where it won't really impact your life and your social life that much. So when it comes to calories and counting calories for a specific goal, whether you're trying to increase muscle mass on a lean bulk or you're eating above your maintenance calories or trying to decrease body fat where you are eating below your maintenance calories and you're eating let's say 500 calories below and you're trying to make sure your your maintenance is let's say 2500 and you're trying to eat 2000 per day and you're trying to stick to that goal and stick to that every single day so that you're going to be looking to be losing about a pound per week or so right so how do you how do you do that without essentially counting and, and inputting everything into an app like MyFitnessPal or weighing every single thing you eat out. So I've been living that on my cut. I, well, I do try to weigh things when I can and when it's easy, by no means have I been doing that the whole time and by no means do I do that every single day consistently. So I like to estimate and I found ways to make estimating very easy. To start, right, I recommend tracking your calories on a by weighing out foods and tracking very specific and using an app for about a week up to two weeks if you are completely new to it if you had some experience a week should do just fine if you try to track if you're trying to track the foods the common foods that you're going to eat during the week so let's say you like to eat chicken or steak or rice or uh, I don't know cereal whatever you like to eat what you need to do is track that for one full week or so maybe two weeks for a couple days at least, however you want to track it, right? And you track and make sure you're eating, you know exactly how much food you're eating to hit a certain number of calories for the day or protein or carbs or fats, right? So I recommend purchasing a scale. The scale is a couple dollars, very small, not even really meant for food, but um, I use it for my food occasionally if I need to. Um, I recommend getting a scale. Once you get a scale, you can weigh out your meats, you can weigh out Whatever you have to do to, to make it easy and to track it 100% accurately. Now, once you've done that, right, and once you've weighed everything out and tracked for a week, the next week you can come back and be like, oh yeah, I know, this is about this much chicken is this many calories. Oh yeah, about this much rice or oh yeah, about this much cereal, whatever it is, is a certain amount of calories. And now you can come back and make it very easy on yourself to estimate and not have to pull up the scale when you're with friends or family or whatever and still be under your core or at your core goals for the day. Now in addition to that, what I also like to do is I like to round up. So let's say I have some chicken on my plate and I say that looks to be about six ounces. I weighed out six ounces before. I know six ounces is approximately 250 calories or whatever it is um, from my tracking the prior weeks. and. It's about like six ounces. I'm gonna say it's 275 calories, or even round it up to 300 calories, right? This is how you can make sure that you are definitely sticking to your goal. You're not overeating. So if you round up, worst case scenario, you actually ate less than what you thought. So if you're trying to eat 2,000 calories a day, right, and you only eat 1,900 because you round up a couple things throughout the day, you know what? That's even that's honestly not the end of the world. It, sometimes it's not that good because you're eating less and you're at, you really need the extra 100 calories and you might be losing weight too fast but on the other hand you could eat more and you can overeat and you might not reach your goals as fast as you would like so as long as you're making sure that's for whatever goals you have if you're trying to decrease body fat increase muscle mass whatever it is as long as you know you're eating about a pound of protein per um, pound, I mean a gram of protein per pound of body fat the rest of your calories can kind of come from carbs and fats and it usually falls into place, at least from what I know, it usually falls into place and my estimating and my overestimating for many things usually works out just fine and that's how I pretty much do it. Um, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little tip and little um, little idea on how you can kind of estimate and start estimating your calories and when you go out to eat, yeah, like I can see, okay, well. This looks to be about this much rice that I've been tracking back at home, or this is this much chicken. You know, you have a you have a really good under, understanding and an idea for how much it's going to be and how many calories it is. And if you don't pay, have a complete, if you're not completely sure, worst case scenario, you add 50 calories, add 100 calories to it, overestimate, and you should be you should be well on your way to, to uh, 
hitting your caloric goals for the day or staying under your limit for the day. So that's all for this video, guys. Um, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, comment on what you want to see. Any questions, I'd be happy to answer. And don't forget to subscribe. we got a lot more coming. Stay tuned, guys.